few days ago I created a video on my favorite fashion trends that we can expect to see in 2020. You guys really loved that video so I've decided to create a part two today. I'm Leonie and welcome back to my channel today I'm sharing 10 more fashion trends that we can expect to see in 2020. First up I wanted to talk about sustainable fashion now I know this shouldn't really be classified as a trend but it really is we're still trying to I think get our heads around the whole idea of environmentally friendly fashion choices so we can expect to see lots more fashion brands that are sustainable popping up around the place and I think things like thrifting and perhaps renting gowns and dresses for special occasion and just renting general fashion pieces I think we can expect to be seeing more of that I personally will be doing my bit in 2020 to consume less and make my existing wardrobe work much harder for me Elevated sportswear is another key look that we can all expect to see in 2020 which works so well for me. I just think it's it's all about comfort, it's all about looking chic and effortlessly stylish. So what we will see more of are things like leggings worn with an oversized boyfriend style blazer and perhaps we'll sling a designer handbag across our body but essentially it's that real mixture of high and low but the key really is comfort. Comfort underpins this look. So prioritize comfort, add a little bit of a fashion edge and you'll easily achieve that elevated sportswear look. I think this is leading into the next trend that we can expect to see in 2020 which is more androgynous footwear and in general more androgynous styling. Now this works for me, I know it's not going to work for everyone, I did have some comments on my previous video which I will link up in a card in case you missed the first one, but I did have some comments about some of the fashion trends for 2020 being sort of oversized and not working well for petite people. Yes you do have to be careful that these trends don't swamp you but it doesn't mean that it's impossible for petite people and petite frames to wear these trends really well. So there is a lot of androgynous styling and one of the main things that we will be seeing is androgynous footwear. So loafers, trainers, biker boots, expect to see that kind of footwear happening in a very big way and throughout the whole year. If you enjoy pretty feminine dressing you'll really like this next trend which is the return of peplums. I always think that this is just a, a feminine, really easy to wear trend. If you have a straight up and down figure, they're perfect for giving you a little bit of shape and a little bit of a waist, but it's also just a really pretty feminine look. So expect to see peplums returning in tops and in dresses. Fashion in 2020 is also enjoying a little bit of a return to more of a retro vibe, I suppose you could say. It's things like 70s man style suiting which tends to be a little oversized and things like shoulder pads so suits and tops with more structured shoulders in them and neons there's there's quite a bit of neon and I know that you guys are probably tired of it but it has been around for probably a couple of seasons now if, if I think about it but yeah neon so bright oranges greens pinks it's all about making sort of a big bold 70s statement Flares are also going to be back. Now someone mentioned that on in a comment on my last video. I hadn't included flares and really it was just because I was going to dedicate an entire video to talking about flares because I just think sometimes we get a little bit scared of them but we really shouldn't. So expect to see flared pants and also a little boot cut jeans are coming back. I'm sure some of you have never said goodbye to them for very good reason because they are really flattering. But expect to see boot cut denim and flared pants back this year. Dump. Double denim is another look which I am personally loving and planning to embrace in 2020. I'm actually thinking about dedicating a whole video to this because 
It's a great look. It can look really stylish, really sophisticated, really modern, but there are a few very simple things you need to do when it comes to styling an outfit in double denim to make the look work. So if you would like to see an entire video on how to wear double denim, just let me know in the comments below. Leave the word denim and I will get onto it. Okay, monochrome dressing is another key fashion trend for 2020. I can probably hear you saying monochrome is always in fashion, you would be right, but what we are seeing this year is more colored monochrome. So when we generally think about monochrome dressing, we tend to think about neutral colors, so our whites, our denim, our blacks, just those muted neutrals. But what we can expect to see this year is colored monochrome dressing. So top to toe in perhaps a bright green or the Pantone color of the season, which is the beautiful blue, royal blue color, top to toe pink. So that's what I mean when I'm talking monochrome dressing in 2020. Oversized hoop earrings seem to be everywhere on the runway as well, so we can expect to see them in the stores. I gave a little nod to that trend today, but they're not super, super sized, but they are larger like this than your average small hoops. So if you wanted to choose one earring trend to wear in 2020, it would be hoops. Now logo mania seems to be back this year as well and I know this is going to be a trend that really divides you guys. You tend to either love the idea of wearing a logo or you hate it. There doesn't seem to be any middle ground when it comes to this trend. Me personally, I do actually like it, but I know many of you think that it's free advertising for that brand and you wouldn't go near it. So let me know what you think about wearing logos in the comments below. But whether or not you like it, it is a trend that you can expect to see in 2020. Anyway, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd love you to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye for now. I won't make it easy for you now. You got two minutes of my time. And I don't really break too easily. But I'm worth it. I'll slip into your dreams tonight, oh